All right, guys, we're doing some real work today. Let's do some work. All right, so today we're gonna to be installing our Mishimoto radiator and fan. Thank you, Mishimoto. Let's put this stuff in. Now, I've never done this before, so I'm quite nervous. But we're gonna do it. All right. First, we're gonna remove these clips. And take this off. And then I think I'm going to take that off. And then the fan shroud. And we'll go from there. Don't follow that video. It leaves out some valuable steps. I will show you those right now. I should have known this. We gotta take this off. That's off, mess is cleaned. Maybe we can make some progress. That broke. Cool. See, that wasn't in the instructions. Did not say this would leak coolant everywhere and get everything wet. That part's off. I really don't understand. Why would they mislead me? All right, so this little guy just comes out of the fan. I didn't even disconnect it. I just fished it out of the, out of the little connection there. I know it's dark, sorry. But uh, I just put it to the side. And now we jack the car up to take the oil cooler down. And just a tip. This is about the part where I feel like I've bitten off more than I can chew. Okay, we're gonna take off the oil cooler. I hope. And we're gonna try to zip tie it to this bar back here. I don't know if that's right. I guess we'll find out. I've already made more of a mess than I thought. Anyway, not giving up, trying harder, let's go. He's out to dinner. He's, he, he's not here. What do you need? Uh, we need. <laughs> Shut up! You're in a closet! Um, we <laughs> can't mess up with clothes.
been killing myself trying to get the fan off, but I got that off. And the stupid lower radiator hose almost broke my arm. But I did it. Um, hard work and determination. What does one do with an old radiator? The moment we've all been waiting for. Ugh. Or at least the moment I've been waiting for. Nice. Huh. Time to watch a video. Alright guys, we're back on day two, and guess what? The dealership had that part I broke. Thank you, local BMW dealership. You saved my life. I just don't have a good way of filming today. I removed the old clip, pop this off, take it out of the little holders. Zip tie <clears throat> or two. There we go. It's brand new. Just slide that on right there. Clip it in. Clip it in. You just pop this clip. I got the old one out. Now this one pops in. Down. Easy. Um, stupidly enough, it took me some time to figure out where they were telling me to mount this relay. But in the end, I mounted it here. Right there. Now I'm just gonna cut off the zip ties and start wiring. Done. Um, I didn't film everything. Sorry. Hopefully the GoPro caught it, but I think I heard it die at some point. Um, I just needed all hands on deck. So, if you want to see how to do it, watch this video from Mishimoto. The only thing I suggest is taking off the pan under the car, putting a bucket under there before you remove that upper radiator hose because in their video it shows no fluid coming out and I promise you a lot of fluid comes out. Um, so all I gotta do now is fill it with coolant, turn it on, take it for a ride, make sure everything works. I think it's good so I'll give you a full report soon. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and we'll see you soon.